Hello guys and welcome back to another satisfactory video. In today's video we'll be looking at hypertubes. Now what is a hypertube? Short answer, it takes you from point A to point B in a pipe which is a tube. Basically instead of a fluid it's transporting humans. Now how do you build this? Now the standard way to start off with is using one of these hypertube supports and then you need a hypertube entrance now we want to build one just going that way for a short bit so you'll see there is arrows left and right so we want this arrows to point that way now this is to get in now as you can see this thing is not doing anything and that is because it needs power it's got a power connector right there at the top so let's grab a power line and power it and you'll notice it's still not doing anything it's gone to yellow meaning that it is waiting for its instructions just like the factory when it's yellow it needs instructions or it's waiting on something now in this instance it's waiting to be completed to have a point b this is the point a we need a point b so let's add it now as you can see i click with the hypertube the exact same way that you use the pipes with and i can drag this around and you can see it works pretty much the same way now the same goes for placing it down i can turn it left and right so i can angle it around the corner if i need to and once i click with it and use the mouse wheel again i can turn it up and down so i can point it all the way down point it all the way up and then when I click on it, it's built and you can see it's gone green. So let's use this one. But as you can see, as I get close to it, it's got this effect of the wind being taken in. And let's just get to this side because it's easier to see. As I go further away, you can see there's an iris that forms. So let's walk away from this one. You can see the iris open and closes. So that is in proximity of the play itself. Okay, so let's get to the uses of these things and how they work in the real world. So in this instance, I haven't used a support. I just placed the hypertube entrance on the ground and you can see it's not straight. So you can't, it, it's a bit of a mess. It doesn't look nice. That's why I say you always use the hypertube support because it makes things neat and easy to use so this one has one entrance so let's get in and as you can see i go through and get out the other side and i didn't have to press anything i just had to get up to it and get stuck suck in and i'm on the other side now as you can see from this side i can't actually get back into the tube that's because there's no entrance there's no way to get back into the tube once you've gotten out apart from using the entrance now this tube here has that it's got an entrance on that side and an entrance on this side so if i get in here and jump out i can get back in so i can go back and forth now something else you can do in these tubes is let's get into it and now i'm going to press like walking backwards so i'm pressing s and you can see i'm actually turning around in the tube and i can go back the way i came so the direction you're going you can actually stop yourself you stop your momentum in the tube and you can turn around now talking about momentum so i've got this conveyor belt built here because one of the things about the hypertube is that the velocity or the is your engine speed carries through so your momentum that you've got going into this gets carried through so if I jump on this and I sprint run, you can see I'm going a lot faster than just getting in the tube and not doing anything. So if I actually get onto this conveyor belt, I can go a lot faster. There I ran sprint and you can see it's a lot faster getting from one point to another. Now, with that speed and momentum in our thoughts, let's look at the next part, which is the jelly. Now the jelly is added to this video because it's a, a, a crucial part in what we're going to do with these tubes a bit later. So the jelly pad, as you can see, is a landing pad and it's there to stop you dead. Now it also uses power, so you need to provide it power. And once I get in and I fall into this, I stop dead. 
it's it's a complete dead stop with these now let's take an example i'll use my jet back and go all the way up and you'll see i can jump from any direction and fall into it and slowly fall down so it stops your speed almost immediately now that comes down to what we've got here the hyper tube cannon so what we've got here is i've got hyper tubes short little spaces between them but i've got one two three four i think it's seven and right here at the end i start curving this one up so i'm gonna jump onto this conveyor belt and actually show you what a hyper tube cannon is so let's just jump onto this guy and look at my speed you'll see i'm going super fast and i'm going super high i can literally see pretty far I think my yeah there you, i can actually see my oil refinery over there let's aim for this jelly pad so the speed is a bit uh it, it lies you will die if you fall like this uh and you don't use a jelly pad or you don't have a jetpack to stop your speed but yes as you can see the hyper tube is it's got its uses but we'll get to the proper use of it with that bad boy over there soon but now let's get to the hypertube in your buildings. Now, here I've got two examples of using the hypertube supports. Now, the wall supports is these guys over there and there. So I've got it vertically and horizontal. So you can get and make a hypertube that takes you to the top of your build. Doesn't matter how big it is or how high it is. Your speed will slow down as you lose momentum with gravity taking effect and let's go down and you'll see how gravity makes me go super fast and the same goes if you've got one snaking around something so this is just an example of how you can use one to snake around a building if you don't have space on the inside to do it you can do uh, one that snakes around a building one that goes up a building to a higher floor especially if you're doing vertical builds as my 10x10 vertical challenge i'm doing this is going to come in handy but yeah you can take these guys and build super long tubes from one part of the map to the other part of the map or you can use the hyper tube cannons we'll get to the bad boy over there soon but there's another part that you can use which was added and that is the wall and the roof mounts that you get the hypertube entrances for those two so here we've got the one on the wall and it's going to take us all the way to the top here and you can see we jump in and this is the roof one so if you want to have a neat look and hide the, the tube itself as you can see the tube is pretty small and you can cover this up and no one will ever see it so if you want to do a very neat build then you can use these guys and you can get from one floor to another floor and just have it in the wall now like i said there's a few different ways to use these hyper tubes the standard way is just building one long tube as if you're building a pipe from one from your oil refinery it works the same way but the cannon wise now i'm gonna let me just make sure my health is full on this because i'm gonna do something so this hypertube over here if you can look over there you see there's a stone pillar let's go into photo mode there's a stone pillar behind that uh, red thing that we've got there and there's a uh, something built right at the top there we'll see it soon enough so getting from here to there with all the other means of transport takes a while uh, the train is probably the fastest but you have to wait for it unless it's a dedicated train uh, the cars work if you use a conveyor belt system or fly it takes a while uh, but using one of these hyper tube cannons you can get there almost instantly now i'm going to show you how i'm going to fail first i don't want to die but this tube cannon was built with not using shift run so if i shift run you'll see what happens i should fall out and i'm basically dead you can see my speed was a bit too fast so i jump i glitched out and i hit the wall and i'm basically dead almost i survived so at least i knew that was happening so while you if you ever build one like this make sure you've got enough gap between your exit and your next entrance and if you are glitching out maybe move give it a bit of a bigger gap in between 
other than that let's use this thing in the way it was supposed to be made so now let's just jump on and run and there we go now you can see i've got a lot of momentum and i'm heading straight for that now if i try to slow this down i would surely die um if i hit that rock too much momentum but uh, there we go the jelly pad stops me dead in my tracks so and you can see this is <laughs> We traveled quite a distance uh, and we did it really fast all the way from there to here in a few seconds. If I have to do this by flying or walking it takes a while. Trust me I know I've had to walk this this distance a few times now already but yes. Guys that's it about Hypertubes. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you see hit that like button. If you want to see more hit the subscribe button and post any questions in the comments. Uh, until next time, this has been Zombie Vega. Bye.